In last video, we covered how to create static mesh location through Scratchpad. In this, we will check how to use skeleton mesh location using Scratchpad. So, right, right click and take a Niagara content. And although we have already skeleton mesh location, like we have already static mesh location, so we have already if you want to use that, and we have also this reproduction that you can use this is also for the static uh, skeleton mesh so but we are creating our own so i'll just delete these okay so in spawn i will create the scratch pad and this is my skeletal mesh location then similarly you can type here skeleton mesh it will just show you one data interface and then the same thing you can go here and get the triangle data okay and it needs the coordinates so you need to take the random tri coordinates and again it has the random info like a static mesh so you can make your integer connect it here and it will convert this is your random info And then you got the position so you can just connect it to the position that's it now you can use your skeleton mesh here and in the random info you can use a random value and you got that how to use that because this looks a t pose like this but it is not like animation character so if you uh, want to link that with animation character like if i go to that setting mesh and here we have lots of animations let's say you have this jump so if i drag this on zero and if i drag my niagara on zero i need to drag our niagara to the character animation and then link it to the none and that's it see it's taking the position of character if you play see it's taking the position but uh uh, let me increase the particle count and decrease the scale maybe one see see how it's taking and also we can take scale color curve like this maybe uh, one life that's enough so now you can see and if you want that particle to just stuck there so you can just move that into the update and that's it particle are there always the character position and like you can see the particle are visible on the character but you if you want to offset a little bit like we did in the static mesh then you can use the normals so we have this normal i will multiply that normal with a float this time because I want to uh, use the normal in a every axis altogether. So this is my offset. And just add that to the current position. And then set this again. Hit apply. And then you have your normal offset. See the difference here. And if I make it like 10. Now you can see the difference. And if I make it minus 2. Particle now under the character see so you can use this offset a little bit like uh, you can use two that will be useful and similarly you can rotate or you can scale it if you want to scale you can just multiply it and make it i will make it float again and this will be our scale apply and it shows you error because uh, you can fix this because here we are using float and uh, and this position you can just make this a vector then connect it here and then error will fix okay so now the scale is zero you can make it one or two and see you can make it like 1.2 they will be slide so easy you can now use your own static mesh location and do a lot of thing with this 
it has lots of modules but we have just covered the basic one that is mainly required for you now but it has lots of maybe in future i will cover more so that's it for now it was very quick and short video to to just share the information thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye